Good morning, Winfrey. Happy Monday morning. Um, yesterday's message by Dr. B, um, the title pretty much says it all. And the title is, we are better together. And so as we wrap up the Olympics and everything else going on, I think it's important for us to realize um, how God made us. Um, and so we actually just finished a, a series on Sunday night called Distinct. And it's all about how God created us individually to be distinct and different from others. And he gave some gifts to certain people and other gifts not. Um, but to not to look down on someone if they don't have the same gift as you, but to build all of us up because we all have different strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. So the scripture we're going to look at today is Ephesians uh, 4, 11 through 16. So I want to read that real quick. Uh, and he himself gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, equipping the saints for the work of the ministry to build up the body of Christ until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of God's Son, growing into maturity with a stature measured by Christ's fullness. There will be no, there will, then we will no longer be little children tossed by the waves and blown around by every wind of teaching, by human cunning with cleverness in the techniques of deceit. But speaking the truth in love, let us grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ. From him, the whole body fitted and knit together by every supporting ligament promotes the growth of the body for building up itself in love by the proper working of each individual part. I love that scripture. Uh, it's so cool to look at. And the one that we looked at last week in our distinct challenge was in First Corinthians that talks about, you know, not everyone, um, you know, an eye can't see, um, uh, an ear isn't like the mouth, it can't talk and all these different things. But each one of them plays an important role in what they can do to lift up and help each other as a team, as a whole. And so Dr. B talked about how um, if you are not in a faith community, whether a church, small group, like that sort of thing, if, if you're just kind of not plugged in and not always consistent and, and, and just don't have that type of support, then you are not living up to your full potential of what God wants you to be. And the reason for that is like, we need to be uh, around other people. God did not make us to be alone. And so we need that fellowship, but we also need to, you know, have those discussions, those debates and, and look at it and see it from different people's perspectives, as well as just having conversations about what we believe and why and different things like that, no matter what the issue is. And so um, there are ways that my strengths can build up and lift and support someone else that has difficulties and different things. And there are also people that will lift up and build into me when, you know, I'm struggling with something or, you know, that's not something I'm very good at. And uh, Dr. B talked about it. We have a youth leadership team. Um, that meets, you know, uh, once a month, maybe twice a month, depending on how busy things are. And we have a wide variety of people in there. We have uh, Sunday school teachers for the youth. We have small group leaders for the youth. We have a parent perspective of at least one parent on there. We have um, asked uh, students for their involvement in the past. And so it, again, it's not just me making the decisions that go into the youth ministry. It's, it's a team effort because I can only see things in such a way. Um, and a parent sees them in different ways and that's important to know. And a small group leader sees them in different ways and so on and so forth. And so I just really think it's important that we, that we realize that, um, that it's important for us to be involved and active in a church, in a small group, in a Bible study, um, because so much growth comes from that. You know, it's more than just sitting in front of a screen and hearing a service uh, and that sort of thing. Like we want everyone to be plugged in. And then once they get plugged in and feel more comfortable, then whatever they're passionate about, 
needs to be an opportunity for them to serve in some sort of way. Uh, we do all sorts of different service projects with the youth and some they really enjoy and others not so much. And so sometimes it's, you know, stepping up and doing what God has called us to do, even if it means, you know, cleaning toilets or whatever the case may be. I don't think anyone's passion is cleaning toilets, but it's stepping up to do different things to help someone else out. And the reason for that is because we can um, and we want to show God's love in whatever way, shape, form we can. Um, so I just wanted to kind of challenge you guys with what are you passionate about and how can you step up and help Winfrey um, better serve the community and show God's love to people depending on what you're passionate about. We, we have needs all over the place. Children's ministry is just starting back up. Uh, the AV is going. Greeters, if you like to talk to people. Um, friends of the homeless, like backpack ministry, the list goes on and on. And so if you're not sure uh, where you can plug in, uh, contact the church office. We'd be happy to find out what you're passionate about and then kind of find a way for you to help out with that sort of thing. Uh, and so I just want you to spend some time in prayer, reflecting on that today and uh, see where God leads you. Because again, we are all better as a team and that's the way that God wants us to glorify him through that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the scripture we looked at today. We thank you for the way that that can resonate and how we can collaborate with others that when we are weak in certain areas that they can uh, lift us up and vice versa. Some of our strengths lift up others and it's that opportunity for fellowship um, and to really see you at work through that. We are just so excited for what the future holds for Winfrey and for us individually in our relationships with you. Help us to glorify you this week. We pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. All right, y'all have a great rest of the week. Stay focused on him. Uh, have some prayer time with him and uh, see what he says to you. Take care. Bye.